Hello everybody and welcome to another wire mod tutorial. Uh, I've been gone for a while but now I'm back with some more tutorials and uh, I'm gonna have a special announcement at the end of the video. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on a screen that shows text and um, it's an animated screen almost. I wouldn't say like animated as in a pretty animation but you'll see um, when you go on to dark RP servers, all that kind of stuff, people have signs on a building or something like that that shows like three lines of text like come shop here or something like that. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing you're going to want to do is put down a text screen. And that's under the display or display, my bad, I almost said detection. Uh, the display category under wire mod or under the wire tab. You're just going to put that anywhere. Mine says type on me. Um, you can set the default text here, but nonetheless, that's not important. So after you get that, you're going to want to have a timer. Now this timer is going to have multiple different values, so you can have multiple different words or phrases that you want displayed across the screen. For this example, we're going to use three different phrases, maybe like, or let's do four and we can do this is a test that's four words so we can we can have four different values for the four different words so to start that off you're going to need to go to your wire mod gates and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the time gates now once you're there you're just going to want to click on the timer you're going to want to go ahead and uh, put that anywhere you want. Now my timer is really small compared to my screen, uh, but that's all right because, you know, actually, I'll make it a little bit bigger just for display purposes, and that is not bigger. Actually, I don't even know what's big and what's not here. Um, all right, big enough. I think that's actually smaller. Yeah, okay, we're going to go with that. That's a wire gate timer let me go back to what I had I think I was using this yeah okay so that's a wire gate timer right there so what this does is once you start it it's like a timer it'll count up from zero to whenever you stop it now that's good but we need a way to initiate this and to do that we're going to need to turn it on and in the past we've turned things on with the value of one well this is similar in a way that it's activated that exact same way by sending a one to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to go ahead down under the input output to the constant value and you're going to want to put um, five values in and I'll explain why in a minute. So your first value is going to be your first line of text so let's go this or whatever you want. I'm going to do this as a test. For my second value I'm going to do is third value I'm going to go A and then fourth value I'm going to do test now however many um, words or phrases you have you want to do that plus two so I just made four so I'm gonna need six total now your words or phrases have to be strings if they're not strings this will not work so you can see my first four values are strings because it has this is A and test the next ones are going to be numbers. You're going to want the number of phrases or words you have in this one. In my case, it would be four. And you're going to want the number one. Now, I'll try to explain what each one of these does now, but you'll see it, it unfold as we start to build the, um, the circuit. So the one is to pretty much initiate the timer and get it to start going. A four is when we want the timer to reset. So once it hits the number four, we want it to reset and then you have your four different strings this is a test for when the timer starts counting up one would display this when it hits two it would display the second string three it will display the third string fourth it will display the fourth string so on and so forth so remember this number here is supposed to match the number of phrases or words you have alright so once we have that you're just gonna wanna place that constant value somewhere now, if we go to our wire and we were just to wire this up, let's put the run, which is to get the timer to run. 
at 1 to start it. Now, I just caught myself on a mistake there, and hopefully you guys didn't make that mistake. But on my constant value, you can see here that I have test, and it's under number. I forgot to change it to string. So remember, each word or phrase you have, it has to be a string. All right, so now I fixed that. So now that we have this, um, the run wired to 1, you can see that the timer's counting up. 25, 27, 28, 29. And you see all those decimals all the way back there. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this nifty little uh, gate called a round gate. And I believe, great, I'm going to have to find it. Um, hmm. I'm going to find it, trust me. Here it is, round under arithmetic gates. So you're going to get round, and you're going to click it and put it anywhere you want. Now essentially what this will do is take any value you put to it, such as our timer, which is 64 point blank 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 65, 60, all that, and it's going to shorten it down. And I'll show you exactly how it does it. So we're just going to wire it to the output. And now if you look over here, it's a nice even integer. It's 77, 78, 79, without all those decimals. So that's great because now we don't have to deal with all the decimals and be super precise. So, once you have that, you're going to want a select gate. Now, this is where it starts getting confusing, but I'll try my best to explain it. For the select gates, you're going to want, un want to go under strings, since we're dealing with strings. And a string is pretty much text. Encoding, um, an integer is a number... Um, I could go deeper. A float is a number with a decimal, same with a double. And then you get into strings, which are characters. And um, that's pretty much what a string is. So we're going to want to go under string gates, and we're going to find our select. Now this pretty much gives you um, an array or a list of different things that you can put in this chip. And in this case, if we go to our wire tool, for A we're going to put in our first sentence or word this B I'm going to put in the next one C I'm going to put in the next one and you want to go down in chronological order that you want your lines of text to appear so now if if we look back over this A is going to be this B is a test this is a test Okay. Now that's fine, but how do we get it to choose the different things? Well, we have this awesome thing here that t starts timing up. But whoa, it's already at 182, and we only have four choices. That's not good. We need it to stop at four. So what we're going to do is get a gate, and this one's going to be a... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's do a comparison gate and do a greater than gate and we'll put that over here now, this isn't the best layout for it sorry but alright so for A is greater than B uh, it's going to output a 1 which we want so when A is greater than B so when the timer which is that huge number now 221 is greater than remember we have a 4 on this constant value 4 right we want this to reset so when this is greater than 4 reset the timer back to 0 and we'll just put that to the output so pretty much this is counting up right and it's a huge decimal number so we rounded it so now you can see it goes in nice even integers and that gets put here and it's like okay well if that timer number ever gets bigger than 4 reset the timer back down to zero so that's what it does so now it's in an infinite loop from zero to four now since we have one through four we can link it up to here so your choice um, a would be number one would be the number one b2 c3 d4 e5 so on and so forth so we're going to link our choice to the output of this uh, rounded gate and then you pretty much have your circuit done. This is the easy part. You just link your string to the output of this. And you can see that it starts displaying your text. 
and um, that's pretty much it so just a quick review um, right here you have your wire gate you have your four letters or whatever or four words my bad and um, or however many you want you have the number of things you have as the um, fifth or the fifth in my case the value which is the number four okay well, that that probably sounded extremely confusing let me go back I have four phrases in mind therefore I have a four as a constant value number and then a one to initiate the timer so this one is linked to the timer which says hey start running it rounds the number and then hey once it hits four reset it okay and then since this is cycling one through four it chooses one two three four resets one two three four and then this is just outputting our choice to this all right guys so thanks for watching uh, I said I had an announcement afterwards and that is um, I'm thinking about starting up a live uh, a live stream I have a live stream account right now if you want to follow that um, link to it in the description but it's on Twitch TV and I was thinking of possibly every Friday we can get a whole bunch of people subscribed to me or whoever's just watching the video uh, we could all hop on a server and then I can almost we could do like a community kind of uh, gameplay day or night depending on where you're at and um, I'll be there to help if you want to do some wire mod stuff or I'll even just be there to test out certain things we could just mess around all that kind of stuff and I'll be live streaming it to my twitch account so if you guys think that's a good idea if you think you'd participate in it uh, leave a comment below and let, pe let me hear what you think about it I think it'd be a pretty good idea um, that way I could help you guys actually be there and talk to you guys if you actually need my help and uh, you know we could build some cool stuff and I don't know but that's just a thought again thanks for watching and um, I hope to see you guys soon.